Welcome back. Today we're going to attempt, I can't guarantee, we're going to attempt to tell a car it's got a new battery. Why do I have to tell a car it's got a new battery? Because that's BMW, I guess. How exciting is that? Okay, welcome back. So um, if you're new here, thanks for joining. Um, please feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of thing, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Um, so, like I said, today we're going to be telling the car has got a new battery. Last time out we changed the battery. Um, I got the tools installed on my laptop. I had a look at all the other different options. Um, I've got a little bit lucky, um, so I checked the, the part number on the battery that came out of the car and it turns out it's already an AGM battery. So I don't actually have to code it to tell them it's gone from a lead acid to an AGM. I've just got to tell it's got a new battery, which should be simple enough, if you'd think. Um, so I've got the software installed, I've got the cool, the, the cool, I've got the cable, um, and we're ready to rock. So let's go out to the car and get this done. Does that help at all? Christ, that's bright, isn't it? Okay. All right, let's give this a try. So I believe I've got the, is this as far back as the seat goes? So let's give this a try. Okay, so I think I've got this worked out now. So if I go into F6, go down to engine. Let's try eight cylinders, and then we go F5 live data, F5 IBIS, PM field one. So I've done 55,000 kilometers, which was well, there you go, 89 natural K, I'm reading 89.3, so one and a half, 55, probably right, isn't it? Last battery change, it's never been changed. So then you come down and you press battery change. Don't know if it's doing something or not. PM IBS, PM field one. Battery change. Battery change. Okay. Last battery change at kilometre. So that's done. So now I can go back, back, end, end. That was a result, wasn't it? Um, so done. Awesome. Um, it's pretty straightforward actually at the end of the day, which I, I can't complain about. So. Um, I haven't put like a video together of how to install it, but that was a bit of a trial. Um, trying to get the different versions and trying to get the drivers and everything installed. And trying to get an XP laptop to start off with. We don't actually need an XP laptop. Um, so I might do a separate video showing how that was all installed, but um, job done. If I did need to change the battery, then it'd just be going through the NCS expert, uh, running through that file, changing it, and then executing that file back into the car. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So um, I'll run a video on that separately another day. But the job's a good one. Car knows it's got a new battery. Who on earth thought that we're gonna have to tell cars that they've got new batteries? Why don't you just plug these bloody things in? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you found this entertaining, if you found it useful, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Um, if you're new here, um, thank you for, for joining us. Um, if you've made it to the end, Give us a hash brown still watching in the comment section down below. Um, and if there's anything that I've done wrong or, or anything that I've completely, uh, you know, screwed up, but I don't believe I have, um, let us know in the comments down below. And that's it. I'm done for the night. Until the next time, my friends. Until the next time.